Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here, and today I'd like to talk just a little bit more about the silver squeeze and everything that's been going on in the silver market since the weekend. So it's been a crazy week. We saw the silver squeeze hashtag begin trending. There have been accusations that the silver squeeze is just a hedge fund plot. Uh, the folks over on Reddit at Wall Street Bets and Wall Street Silver are divided over the silver squeeze. We saw a lot of people buy physical metal over the weekend. Uh, we saw that huge move up on Monday. And since then, the paper price of silver has just been getting crushed. So we hit a high, I think, intraday of just over $30 on Monday. And now we're back down in the $25 range. Silver has really just gotten crushed in the past couple days. And there's all sorts of theories and speculation as to what is going on. A lot of I told you so's from folks over at the Wall Street Bets subreddit. Uh, people just saying this was a coordinated uh, plot by uh, Citadel and some other hedge funds who owned SLV, a paper derivative of silver. And I don't know, I think I just needed a few days to kind of sit back and just try to grok everything that has happened in the silver market. And if you're a fan of Robert Heinlein, you know what I'm talking about when I use that word grok. If not, uh, it's from the book Stranger in a Strange Land, so go look that up if you're interested. Basically, I just needed some time for all of the news and all of the information about silver that's been hitting my brain to sort of soak in for me to think about it critically and form an opinion about it. A lot of folks are saying that the silver squeeze, like I said, was just a coordinated attack by the hedge funds and that it's over and that this smackdown is basically the, the death knells of that, but I'm not so sure about that. I think that the silver squeeze could still be ongoing and that when we look back at this time from a point in the future, we may see that this past weekend was just the beginning of the real silver squeeze and a real sustainable move up in the precious metals. What's happened now is more people are aware of silver as an asset and the role that it can play in financial markets, the difference between the paper and the physical market, because of course the paper market has been getting smashed down. So if you did buy SLV on Monday, well, sorry for your loss, uh, that's unfortunate. But if you bought physical metal over the weekend, I don't really think you have anything to worry about. Now, of course, this is just my opinion. This isn't financial advice. Physical metal still is extremely undervalued. I mean, it was undervalued before this. All the silver stackers who have been stacking are probably just watching uh, from the sidelines, I'd expect, waiting for premiums to drop to continue stacking. Even though the price of paper has been smashed down, the price of this has not dropped nearly as much. Now, if you bought at the high over the weekends with the extremely high premiums, if you were paying $41 an ounce for an American Silver Eagle, well, that might have been a little overboard, and you might have to wait a while before you see the spot price approach that level. I'm hoping that all the new holders of physical metal out there don't get just absolutely disgusted by the smash down in the price of metals and the drop in the premiums that they're seeing. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because all of those people who bought over the weekend are not going to even see their silver, I'm sure, for weeks. I don't know what the backlog is right now from the physical bullion dealers, but I think it's something like 10 to 12 weeks. So all those new stackers out there are not going to have any metal in their hands for a while. And there may be some buyer's remorse at this moment. I think that the way things play out for the rest of the year and for the years to come, it's going to show that the people who were stacking, although they might have been panic buying and paying a high premium, ultimately they were putting their money in the right place. As far as the silver squeeze being a plot by the hedge funds, look guys, the hedge funds might hold some SLV or some futures contracts, but they don't hold this. They don't hold physical metal. This, this is basically what they're holding. Look, Look, guys, it's silver. Look, I have a bunch of silver. No, this is not silver. This is paper. It's basically only good for something if it's in this form. This is what the hedge funds are holding right now, folks. Hedge funds, I mean, at least as far as I know, don't have any large physical positions where they actually hold the metal. Now, they might think they do because they're probably holding futures contracts and in their hubris, they think that if they ever needed to take physical possession, they could just demand delivery on their long futures contracts. Well, why wouldn't they be able to? That's the rules. That's how it's always been at the COMEX. But guess what, guys? If everybody who holds paper silver 
tries to take delivery, and I'm just talking about futures contracts over at the COMEX, there's not enough physical metal to go around. There's just not enough of this. I've heard a lot of people on Reddit and uh, decriers of the silver squeeze movement talking about how silver is this enormous market, 1.5 trillion market cap. Retail investors don't have enough firepower to uh, move the needle on it because it's such a big market. Well, look, paper silver is a big market. Absolutely. There's hundreds of times derivatives. I mean, I'm talking SLV, PSLV. I know PSLV actually has silver in their vaults most likely, but still, uh, that stuff can get traded with leverage. You know, you can buy it with margin, whatever. The paper market, futures contracts, SLV, it's a huge market. Absolutely. But the actual physical metal that is underlying all of those derivatives, there's not enough of it to fulfill all of those paper derivatives if people were to actually try to take possession of the physical metal. When you're holding physical metal, you're holding the real thing. I would feel a lot more comfortable holding a stack of these Scottsdale bars than a stack of this, a stack of paper. And that's what the hedge funds have, guys. So if you are going out and you're buying SLV thinking you're going to stick it to the hedge funds, you are mistaken. You are incorrect. You are playing into their hands. You're playing their game. But if you went out and you stacked up some of this stuff, you are taking money out of their system. You are taking money away from the big financial interests. If you had money in a bank account and you took it out and you converted it into physical metal that you hold in your hand, you have just removed some amount of capital from the banks. You've taken away some measure of power from them. So the silver squeeze isn't going to be like GameStop. It's not going to be a huge run-up. You're not going to make 500% on your money overnight by going all in on silver. Again, this isn't financial advice, but I don't think it would be a wise decision to go all in on silver at any point. What I like to do is try to wait for pullbacks and then add to my physical position. It's a long-term holding. It's a store of wealth outside of the rigged financial system. So I think even with all of this silver squeeze news going on, it's still a good time to be stacking. I personally will probably wait for a little bit more of a pullback. I think there may be one coming. I mean, the, look, the paper price of silver could get smashed down to $5 tomorrow. If the powers that be wanted to drop the price that much, they could probably accomplish it because they can create as many paper contracts of silver as they want and sell them into the market and drive the price down. But if that happened, I got a question for you. If the price of paper silver dropped tomorrow, and we're talking about paper silver, remember, basically this stuff, do you think that you would be able to go out to your local coin store and buy one of these for $5? And the answer to that question is obvious. Of course not. In fact, the price of silver drops to $5 tomorrow. It's, there's probably going to be such a wave of buying of bullion that you won't be able to find this stuff anywhere. The price of physical metal could completely detach from the paper market. And honestly, that's probably what eventually is going to happen. Now, when that's going to happen, I have no idea. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future. There's no way for me to tell how long the current fiat debt-based monetary system can persist. I mean, it's proven to be pretty resilient. We've been able to go $27 trillion in debt, and there's no sign of things slowing down anytime soon, and people are still using dollars. Other countries are still buying U.S. dollar-denominated debt instruments. So until that whole system comes to a grinding halt, silver probably is not going to get squeezed. But there is going to come a day when all of those big institutions, all of that big money, all of those people holding futures contracts want to get their hands on the physical metal. And when that time comes, it's going to be like a game of musical chairs. And the people who hold this are going to be left without a chair to sit in. But if you've been stacking this, you're going to be sitting pretty. And that is going to be the time when the real silver squeeze happens and the strong hands in physical metal are going to be the winners at that time. At least that's my belief. I could be mistaken. Who knows? But the way I see things playing out, you're going to be in a good position when you hold the actual physical metal. Now, look, a lot of people also take this to an absolute extreme where they say, like, don't touch paper silver. There's perfectly good reasons in a healthy, normally functioning economy to have 
paper silver contracts. I mean, what if you're a silver miner and you need to hedge yourself against a potential drop? Well, you buy some puts or something like that on silver. Or if you're a precious metal dealer who holds this huge position in physical metal, you might also need to hedge yourself. It's important. Or if you're a company that uses silver in an industrial manner, which there's tons of companies that have to consume silver, you might buy some long positions just in case the price skyrockets you won't have to stop producing your goods. You'll be able to hedge yourself because you need to buy silver on the market in order to manufacture whatever good you're making. Maybe you're making electric cars, maybe you're making cell phones, whatever. You might need silver for that. Maybe you're making solar panels. It's perfectly normal to have a futures market. The problem is when you get banks who come in and they are not trying to profit by selling paper silver. They're just trying to manipulate the underlying asset. That's when you get a problem, when people are creating paper silver out of nowhere, selling it on the open market in these huge chunks and smashing the price down. That's manipulation. And if you think that's not going on, remember that just at the end of last year, J.P. Morgan had to pay almost a billion dollars in fines for manipulating the precious metals markets. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is conspiracy fact. This is a real thing. I mean, the precious metals markets are probably some of the most rigged in the world, and that's why I personally view the current prices, I mean, whether it's $30, $25, $41, any of those prices are a steal on physical metal, I think. I mean, that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do think that right now premiums are a little bit high on silver. I am waiting for a little bit of a pullback. But there's another precious metal right now, and that's platinum, that I think is also pretty undervalued. And I just made a video the other day about an interesting way that you can get some exposure to physical platinum. It's not bars or coins. It might be something you're not expecting. But if you want to know more about that, check out this video here. And thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give the channel a subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker out.